Hey guys and welcome to another episode of Let's Max Warframe. So the preload patch for the Glass Gambit dropped last night and with it came some noticeable and really welcome changes including a buff to a couple of prime weapons. So let's have a look at the one that I most enjoyed and felt made the most difference and that is the Sycorus Prime. Previously this sidearm was really only a star chart weapon. Even then it's really started to struggle with the higher level stuff and it's been in need of a buff for quite some time. Base damage has gone up from 30 to 40, the majority comes in the form of impact with 16 and 12 as both puncture and slash makes it a very well rounded weapon base damage wise. Its supplemental stats got raised as well increasing crit from 10 to 20%, the multiplier went up from 150 to 200%, puts it in very firmly in the realm of being a crit weapon. Its status chance of 10% is okay as well, does make it that a crit hybrid, uh, sort of crit status hybrid build does work fairly well. It also got a bit of a buff to magazine size from 21 to 24 rounds. It means that you get 8 bursts per magazine instead of 7. Everything else on the weapon actually is exactly the same as when I originally reviewed it back at the start of January last year. It's really been that long? Well, it's got good accuracy, low recoil, pretty decent fire rate to go along with it all. Although a long 2 second reload can feel, I mean that can feel fairly long since it doesn't take long to empty the magazine at all. The build for the weapon has changed quite a bit since I originally reviewed it, on account of it actually being a crit weapon now, where it wasn't before. However, from the base weapon I've added 5 former, which is 4 V's and a dash, it means I've got some room for some quality of life mods on there as well. The build's a pretty standard secondary crit weapon. Hornet Strike, Barrow Diffusion, Lethal Torrent, Prime Pistol Gambit, Prime Target Cracker, and then I went with two dual stats for bringing up the status chance. The chance is split between the three rounds, however 50% chance to proc something each burst isn't horrible, and can really give this weapon the chance to do stuff like remove armour with corrosive or proc viral to reduce health. The final slot is something you can just mess around with a bit. I've got hydraulic crosshairs in there right now for additional crit chance, that helps to push that chance up that little bit higher. Um, the, the polarity on that slot is a dash, you could go with Seeker for punch through, Prime Heater Charge for more damage, Enemic Agility for more fire rate, you can go Quick Draw for reload speed, or even Sharpen Bullets for more crit damage. There's a ton of different personalization you can do here. Personally I would go with either Sharpen Bullets or cr uh, Hydraulic Crosshairs, because it's going to mean that either you're going to crit more reliably, or you're going to hit harder when you do crit. Failing that, Prime Teeter Charge would be my next choice and then on to like punch through and then reload. But after checking the build, has this buff done what it was designed to do? Which is to give the Sycorus Prime a new lease of life. And is it worth investing former into it now? And the answer is, oh hell yes it has. In the background footage you can see me taking on the Kuva Flood mission. It's a mission with enemies that start at the same level as the third sortie. Even on enemies that aren't primed by Nova, you can see me taking them down by, with, with ease. There is no way you could even dream of the old Sycorus Prime doing this. This is a weapon that really started to struggle by the end of the star chart, let alone being salty worthy. I love old weapons getting a bit of a bit of love and a bit of update, and being brought into being competitive with other weapons like the Sycorus Prime has had done to it. I like the old Sycorus Prime, it was a fun weapon to use despite it not being very good. But now I can take it into sorties and not feel like I'm taking something into the mission that is completely incompetent, completely impotent. It's got good rate of fire at base, which means that even the 50% status chance, it can proc quite a few things and do it fairly regularly. So you can strip armor, proc viral, do whatever you want to do, and have the damage be able to back up those procs by killing the actual unit. I am really glad this little thing has emerged into a bit of a beast, because I can dust it off and use it again. It's always been overshadowed by so many cooler, so many better weapons that it never really got any real use, um, even from me, despite me liking it a fair bit. So what do you think? Is it enough to get you using the Sycorus Prime again? Or do you think it's too late and people are going to forget that this exists in a couple of weeks again? I would be interested to hear. Hopefully we should get Nidus released either today or tomorrow. So I'm going to be getting videos out for him as soon as possible and the new weapons as well as Cloud Pirates Close Beta 3 that opens today, so videos for that will be coming as well, so stay tuned for those. Feel free to smash that like button and sub if you like my content, and I shall see you in the next video.